Hey there, Kipsters. Welcome back to science class. My name is Miss Dobeck, and today we are going to be continuing to talk about animal and plant defenses. Now, last week, we learned about the Georgia Sea Turtle Center and about a sea turtle named Scoot who was at the Georgia Sea Turtle Center because he was hurt or injured and they wanted to help him. Now that he's better, they are going to release him or let him go back into the wild. But some people were wondering if Scoot was going to be able to survive when he went back into the ocean with the other sea turtles and animals. Now, remember last week we said that survive means to stay alive. So we wanna make sure that when Scoot goes back to the ocean, he is able to stay alive. So we asked this big question. What do animals and plants need to do to survive? We played the survival game and found out that plants need air, oh, plants and animals, silly Miss Dobek, need air, water, and food to survive. Now today, we are going to be listening to my teacher friend, Ms. Chavez, read us a story called Tortoise Parts. Now, this is not a fake story. This is an informational text that's telling us real, true, scientific things about tortoises. I hope you enjoy hearing from Ms. Chavez, and then she's going to go over what your lesson is for today. After you listen to her read you this book and think about tortoise parts, I want you to go back to your Google Classroom and complete the lesson to tortoise part activity. Today, we will be reading a text and we will also learn a new skill. This skill is called visualizing. Visualizing is when you make a movie in your mind and you think about what you are reading. We will visualize how animals and plants survive. And then at the end of the lesson, your assignment will be to draw how it is that you visualize this animal surviving. Let's get started by reading the book. The book we are reading is called Tortoise Parts. What do you think this book is gonna teach us? It's going to teach us about tortoise parts. As I'm reading, please use your finger or your mouse to follow along in the book. Please make sure you do this whenever I'm reading something off of the slide or in a book. It'll help both of us out. Let's get started. Look at the body of a tortoise. The word tortoise sounds like tortoise. Can you say it? You will see lots of different parts. These parts are called structures. I'm going to stop right here. Whenever we read a book together, if there is a word in bold, that is a new vocabulary word. Structure. Structure means the shape of something, but in this case, it's a body part or animal. Can you say structure? Structure is a body part. Can you copy? Structure is a body. Another vocabulary word I want to introduce is the word function. Can you say function? A function is a job. A function is a job. Can you copy? A function is a job. Good job. Let's keep on reading about tortoise parts. Each structure has a shape. Each structure is good for doing something. A tortoise uses different structures to do different things. Structure. A tortoise has a beaky mouth. What the structure can do. The beaky mouth is good for biting leaves. So what do you think the topic is now? The topic of this book is about the different structures of the parts of the tortoise and what they do 
or their function. And remember, structure is a body part. Function is a job. So we're learning about the different jobs that the body parts of a tortoise has. Cool. So an important way that readers learn from a book is to visualize, just like I told you before. When you visualize, you make a picture or a movie in your mind. The tortoise uses this structure, the beaky mouth, to bite leaves. We can see in the picture that the beaky mouth is sharp. And I can visualize in my mind or make a movie in my mind about the sharp beaky mouth biting leaves, ripping the leaves off of the plant and then I visualize the tortoise putting it in his mouth, closing it, and chewing the leaves. The beaky mouth helps the tortoise survive because it helps the tortoise get the food that it needs to survive. Can you visualize the tortoise eating a leaf with me? I'm gonna do it again, so you try. Close your eyes, no peeking. Visualize the beaky mouth. If it helps you, use your hands too. Visualize the beaky mouth, opening up, biting a leaf with its sharp, pointy beak, biting the leaf with its sharp, beaky mouth, and chewing it. Wow, that's really cool. So now, every time I mention a new structure on the tortoise, I want you to visualize. This is going to be really good practice for your assignment at the end of the lesson. Structure. A tortoise has a long neck. Wow. What the structure can do, the long neck is good for reaching up. So the tortoise uses this structure, its long neck, to reach up to the food that it, it's high up and that it needs. I'm going to visualize, make a movie in my mind that the neck is stretching out and reaching up to help the tortoise get the leaf with its beaky mouth, rip it off, and chew it. Did you do it too? Okay, cool. Structure. A tortoise has big toenails on each foot. What the structure can do. The toenails are good for digging. The tortoise can dig a hole for its eggs. Hmm. What is the book trying to teach us now? It seems that every structure has a different function or job. The beak is good for biting leaves. The long neck is good for reaching up for food that's out of reach for the tortoise. And the big toenails are good for digging for the holes for the eggs. Structure. A tortoise has a hard shell. What the structure can do. The hard shell is good for stopping predators. It is a defense. New vocabulary word. Predators and defense. Let's talk about predators. Predators are animals that hunt other animals for food. For example, a lion would hunt a zebra for food. There are different kinds of predators in the world. So remember, a predator is an animal that hunts other animals for food. Predator, hunter. Can you try? Predator, hunter. And defense. Defense means to protect oneself. Defense means to protect. Can you guys try? Defense means to protect. Good job. Let's keep reading. Structure. A tortoise has legs that can pull under its shell. What the structure can do. Legs that can pull under are good for staying safe. They are a defense. There's the word again. Defense. Structure. 
a tortoise has eyes. What the structure can do. Well, what do you think the eyes are good for? I mean, they're also good for seeing, but for seeing what? If we think about the tortoise needing to survive and stay alive, and we think about the game that we played during the last lesson, what do you think the tortoise would have to look out for? It would have to look out for food, definitely. But maybe it'll also have to look out for predators, like the hawk that we saw in the last page. And predators are hunters. Oh well, the author made a really cool diagram for us to be able to see all of the tortoise's structures in one part. That's super helpful. Think about all the things that the text taught us. Now, what do you think the point of view of the author is? I think the author's trying to tell us that the reason why tortoises look the way they do is because each structure of the tortoise has a function and that function will help the tortoise survive. That was a good book. Let's go back to the PowerPoint. One of our new vocabulary words was structure and that means shape or body part. It means shape or body part. And the other word that we learned is function. That means it's job. Function is it's job. Your assignment today will be to show me on your worksheet how it is that you visualize and you made that movie in your mind of how the tortoise uses one structure, one body part, to survive. I made a quick video on how you can open up the document and click on edit to make your drawing. Let's watch. Once you open up the document, you can click on the tortoise diagram. The box at the bottom will come out and you click edit. This will open up your drawing tools. Then you click on this spot right here to bring down the lines. You're going to select the scribble. And here you can draw your arrow of how you visualize the tortoise using its structure to survive. Make sure that you label what your arrow is doing. You can get a label by clicking on this T here and then pulling out the box and then you can start typing. Make sure you save and close so that the hard work that you did doesn't get erased. The next part of your assignment will be to finish the sentence using a body part and its function. You are going to open up this text box the exact same way that you opened up, the exact same way that you opened up the drawing for the tortoise. Once you open it up, you can type in the body part that you visualized in the diagram. Then you are going to highlight one of the words at the bottom that matches the function for the structure or the body part that you drew. You can do that by highlighting this right here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you for our next lesson. Bye.